traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out today with uh, two stocks that we're going to look at, and then we're going to get into the futures part. But I'm going to talk about Tesla again because you remember last Friday uh, when it was trading up there at 177, I said that, you know, it looked like a sale. It put a stop at, uh, you know, uh, 281, and uh, son of a gun, uh, it hit that stop, went above it above that level but I recommended you know that actually to buy a put and that's what some people did and even when that market was trading above when the stock was trading above 82 the put would not go down folks there were people willing to buy that put and now you can see why because now it's trading at seventy three dollars a share now all that is is a short-term top from what we can tell you won't know whether it's a major top or not for probably several days weeks or months so I'm just talking about risk control, and <clears throat> that's all I want to talk about. And I also want to talk a little bit about market action and also the fact that these things trade overnight. Now, here is the stock that we were looking at, of course, with Apple. I'm going to get this up here. So this is a perfect example of what I uh, talk about, and yet, you know, th this is different than, than what actually happens in the market because what you're seeing here with Apple, this is the day session only. And now they have an evening session that does several hundred thousand shares, so it's, and, and sometimes a lot more. But you can see here, you notice how this left this island reversal here on the daily. Folks, if we didn't have overnight trading like this, this is one of the most bearish doggone patterns that you could possibly get. Because basically what that's done is everybody that bought it over these last three or four days are now setting with a loss. The problem is this. Apple trades 24, or I don't know if it's trade 24-7, but it's off hours, of course. But I'm going to show you now. This is just the hourly chart showing you the, uh, the uh, trades that go on after the market is closed. You'll see that's where it's been up into this area right here. You don't see any gap at all. But with that stock that doesn't show overnight, there's an island reversal there. Now, maybe they don't work anymore, folks, but boy, back in the old days, that was one of the ones that uh, you had to go a long way to find an idle universal that failed. Uh, they're about they're right about 90 percent of the time. So it's a really, really big move in that. Oh, by the way, I have an announcement today. Bob Miner will be our guest uh, as our as our guest today from Dynamic Trader. And then on August the second, that's going to be official. I'm going to be the, doing the day trading session. I do two a year. This will be my last one for the year. So I hope you can uh, – uh, I've got some new stuff that's good, but, boy, we've got some old stuff that really works good. The whole uh, part of those five hours that I'm going to be uh, trading and teaching is to teach you, you know, what I'm doing. But the main thing is is to make money. That's the main thing that we're going to try to do now. If had we been doing this today, we would have had one heck of a day because, of course, you know that we thought the stocks were going to go down, which they did. And, of course, gold had an up-and-down move. We caught both sides of that that gold trade, folks, which was really quite nice. And uh, we're short now. We're, excuse me, we're long now from a 9.15 with our stop now at uh, 19.08. But we did take uh, $23, let's see, $33 out of the short side. Then we bought it back at 15, sold it back at 20. And so it's been a pretty good uh, day trading for the, uh, for the market. But I wanted to point out something uh, this morning when I sent out the early video uh, when we had had some pretty big moves in some of these things. I wanted to show you, this was the opening indication here. This was about, you know, just right before the open. And you'll notice, the, I'm, oh, you have to see it first. Hold on, let's get this up here so you'll be able to see it. And then I'll point it out. <clears throat> see, at this at this level right here, this we had booked a $1,500 profit. 
uh, at this level right here. And I said, if something happens and it breaks, sell the first 382 retracement. Well, this is a 15 minute chart. And there's your 382 retracement off the overnight high, which was right there. Okay, so that was a 382. Now I know a lot of people can't can't do or act like that, but that's what it's that's what it's all about, folks. You got to be prepared if you're going to use these tools. You got to know how to use them, and the best way that you can extrapolate data to tell you whether you want to be a seller or a buyer and how much you have to risk. Now let's just talk about 382 just a couple of times in here. Okay, now we had bought a we had bought bonds today. At 124, and of course, we were stopped out of them immediately. And I left the same message in bonds, just like I left in stocks. I said, sell the first 382 retracement in the bonds. And there you can see, there's your high up in here. There's the move. There's your 382 retracement, folks, right here. And bonds fell off the paper. They got all the way down to almost 122. That's how far down they got. And of course, they've still been going down ever since. All this tells us, folks, is that the pattern is working. It doesn't tell us any more than that. If the pattern is not working, you're going to get out of it, and you're not going to have to worry about anything at all. That's the real beauty of looking at some of these things, okay? Very, very important to uh, see some of these things unfold the way they do. Now, there's another one. Remember uh, the wheat market. The wheat had this uh, – you'll see a beautiful ABCD here on the left side of the chart in wheat. As soon as I get it up here, you'll be able to see it. And we'll look at it together. But there's your ABCD right up here. The market comes down, rallies up this morning to exactly the 382, and is already trading down below these levels here right now, down over 30 cents from that 382 retracement. Of course, your stop would be placed right above the 618. So that's a far better than a 6 to 1 reward ratio. Those are the ones that uh, – really, really help you pay the bills. But let's take a quick look at the Treasury bonds before we come up with this next break here, because this was the real key here. Uh, it looked like we had a really nice trade going on, but we said two things. One is you only risk eight pips or $250 on this trade. We bought it at 2420 right in here, as you can see, and it gave up the ghost it actually rallied about eight or nine pips, and then it just absolutely fell down, and we were out of it uh, with a eight-point loss. And it went all the way down, uh, even much, much lower than where you're seeing over here. And that tells you this market has been really bad. This the last yesterday, all we had during those days was three, eight, two retracements, and now you can see why the market just keeps getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And that's what could be happening to the stock market. So you want to pay very, very close attention to that. That's going to be interesting. Right before we came on the air, I haven't checked it, but it was around uh, 18, excuse me, uh, 44, uh, 4441, I believe, was the number we were looking at. Let's get this up here. Uh, yeah, 4441. And you'll see here, this is the E-mini S&P. It was making a 382 retracement. From the overnight high at 40.69. Now, if you're if you're watching that overnight high right here, there's your 382 retracement. Uh, I don't if it I don't think it's going to get much above the 618 retracement. So that I'd be selling there at 440. Whether that's going to mean anything or not, we'll have to wait and see. So let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. 
Teddy Kegstaff breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the euro uh, over the past uh, several days, starting on uh, Ju July the 4th. And you notice that the bottom down there was a perfect ABCD pattern. And it was uh, something that is really, uh, you know, pretty, pretty spectacular. So uh, we watch those. And the reason why we do is because sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But the key is it tells you when you're in the zone of where you want to be a buyer and seller. And as you can look at this chart here, let's just get this up here so we can see it. You'll notice here that we make a 382 retracement, and then you come down, and then you go up, and you go right up to the exact 61% retracement. That's a Gartley pattern, and you can see what happened, you know, since that thing happened. Now, Gartleys work about 65% of the time, but folks, when they fail, get out of Dodge because, boy, they can really fail badly. Just like when ABCD patterns fail. We had one of those happen in the Dow Jones E-mini this morning, and uh, we were alert to that saying, look, if this doesn't hold, we're going to break and go down a lot higher, a lot lower, but we did. That turned out to be uh, the right thing to do, but they're not always that way. What we're going to try to do on August the 2nd is give you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and we're going to try to show you, you know, how we use some of these patterns. We'll be using them on shorter term time frames. They work on just, well, they do work on any time frame, but we'll be watching 15 minute and some five minute charts looking for these patterns to make a profit. We usually trade about four or five times 
during that five-hour period, and I'm also going to be doing some PowerPoint presentations. I've got some new information on the 382 pattern that is going to be uh, well worth the price of admission on this one, that's for sure. So those are the things that we'll be covering when we do this on August the 2nd. I won't say much more about it until the ads start to come out, but uh, TFN has agreed that we're going to do it on August the 2nd and uh, have some fun. Uh, doing it. A question that someone has asked about the uh, Apple. I wanted to bring this up here and show you because as you see this pattern right here, this is without the overnight trading in Apple, folks. And remember, this is the most heavily traded stock that we have. Uh, you'll notice here that we did leave. You see how we've left this gap here? That is an island reversal. Now, if, if this doesn't uh, if this gaps down one more time and leaves this island like this out like this, oh my goodness. But if it goes and just goes down a little bit and fills the gap, then that's totally different. You see, so if some bad news should come out, I don't know what it could be, but if some bad news would come out and Apple would gap down below that red box, uh-oh, major, major correction coming in uh, Apple and possibly even a bear market if it does that. That's known as a, the as it called it the, the hanging uh, not hanging man ah uh, it's the two uh, the, oh the three crows it's known as the three crows in other words you say three days up here in this gap and then the market gaps down it's known as the three black crows uh, out of Steve Neeson's book uh, about candlesticks very very rare pattern you hardly ever see it but when you do and when you do that's it. You notice over here, it looked like it was going to do that. But you see, it didn't leave an island here because there's space here. You see, all this is is a correction. But if you had the island, then that really makes a big difference. But it's such a rare pattern. I'm showing it because it may or may not work. But if it does, you might not see another one for 10 years. But that's a pattern that, that could possibly happen. But uh, the thing is, if we... Uh, if we go just a little bit lower and then reverse and get back above 191 again, this is going to tell us that hmm, maybe this thing is nearly as bad as you might think it is. And that's where the, the real uh, interesting thing is going to happen. So let's uh, remind ourselves of that as we look at some of these charts, you know, going down, uh, going down the path. Uh, someone's asked me to review uh, the chart of the uh, the E-mini. Uh, yeah, let's get it up here. Ah, uh, uh, shucks. Uh, just a second, folks. I've got to move this over and make a slight correction. Here it is. This is the uh, – I want to get this up here today. This is the Dow Jones E-mini, and uh, you'll notice the patterns that we had up there at the 78% level. And today uh, we got down uh, into the 40 area, down into here. So it hasn't really corrected very much. Uh, but 500 points in one day is a pretty big correction. So that's what we're paying attention to here today as we watch this. Now, there'll be a, there's going to be some rallying coming in, in here. So as we look for these rallies, we have to be careful because when they come, and they will come, then you know that things are going to be moving, uh, you know, really pretty fast. And that means that it's going to be uh, a little bit uh, – a little bit more, uh, what do you call it, uh, harder to trade, but it's also easier to trade if you've got some patterns to work with and you don't have to worry about whether these things are going to go uh, straight up or straight down because you don't want to get caught in those. That's where you get your trouble is when you're caught into that zone where you have straight up or straight down. Look at this. The Dow Jones is still down 400 points today and it's in the midst of a rally the S&P has rallied uh, 35 points from the bottom which is uh, is quite is a considerable amount and uh, the Russell is still down so these are things that are telling you that these markets are you know they're very very volatile now where they're going to end up today you know we don't really know but you know just about everything up here is red I mean we got bonds down a point and a half we got a point down in treasury notes so there's a great deal of selling coming in across these markets. So we want to be uh, very, very uh, careful of what we're watching here as we look at some of these things here unfolding here uh, for today. Our guest at the break is going to be Bob Miner. He'll have some good things for us. I'm sure as he does, he's uh, one of the better uh, trader folks out there, and he certainly got the track record to prove it. And he'll be talking to us here in about uh, five or six more minutes. Uh, one other question is, was posed to us about the, about the – oh, these charts are – not what I wanted to be, but son of a gun. 
there's not much you can do. So let me take a look at this. This is where we are with the, where the NASDAQ was today. Now remember, the NASDAQ was down 200 and some points uh, today so far, folks. So that's just a normal correction that's going on. It's not anything really big. You know, so that's what we're paying attention. By the way, those of you that follow the YM, we just hit the 382 retracement up here at uh, 34,115. We just hit that. And it's trading at 34,116 right now. So that's a real interesting one to see whether that 382 is going to, uh, uh, you know, mean anything or not. But we'll find out uh, if it does hold that level or not. Okay, let's move on here. We've got to take a little break here, pay a few bills. We're going to have uh, uh, Bob Miner up tomorrow. Our guest is going to be Alfie Lavoie of Air Software. He's the one who builds all these wonderful uh, astro programs and neural network programs into these so we can see the verifications of how these lunar cycles work and this is the program that Shane Smolian works with and so we'll be having those folks on uh, tomorrow. So let's take a break here. Bob Miner coming up. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Bob Miner, Dynamic Trader, on the line. Bob, how are you doing today? Pretty good. I'm here. I know you are. So far, we're in the house. Everything's great. You want to start out with the gold market, Bob? Okay. What do you want to know? <laughs> uh, you've got a nice chart up here telling us it looks like the end of August looks like it could be a pretty good buy down in here. What are your yeah. I, We have a question from one of our listeners, Bob, that just popped up. Do you ever use candlestick charts? And if so, why not? Um, I, no, I don't use them. Uh, I don't I don't see any added value in them. Uh, the, a candlestick chart is just a representation of open, high, low, close. So it's not giving you any special information except visually. Um, so I don't use them. Okay, great. So, that was gold, the answer. Gold market, uh, gold weekly market. Yeah, I sent you a chart on that. Uh, a couple of charts to the extent you're more, probably for a little bit longer term targets. So in gold, there's two key time factors, sub time factors, uh, about that third week in August. So um, as you know, I don't forecast, but I, I look for conditions with a high probability outcome. So if you see gold trending into the third week of August, I know that's five, six weeks away from now, particularly if it's trending down, uh, and it doesn't have to be significantly lower than what it is now, let's just call it sideways to down, that has the possibility of being a, a fairly significant low. So that's, that's just something to be prepared for if that should unfold. Now, if the stocks are saying if gold would be going up into the third week of August, would that timing factor still be valid? No, no that timing factor would not. Those are specifically uh, factors to identify a probable time for a correction against a five-wave impulse trend. So um, this doesn't show the, the higher, what we call the higher time frame count, but more than likely from last fall, his gold has begun another fairly significant longer-term bull trend that will probably continue well into next year. So my whole focus is to identify probable corrective lows to then position on the upside. So I have a, I have a real, real simple plan. My trading plan is identify when a market's in a position to complete a correction because what always has to happen once a correction is complete the trend prior to the correction reasserts itself to a new extreme. So if you can identify the end of a correction, it's a great trade strategy. It's the trade strategy I use, and I've won so many of those trading contests. Oh, that's great. Well, you've certainly done a great job with those. There's no question about it. Now, we've got another uh, 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 chart coming up here. This is the uh, SPX Weekly, and you're going to have everybody's attention here, Bob, so I'm going to get this up here so that we can take a look at it and spend some time with it because this is a really beautiful chart. looks like you've got some great information on here. So what, what do you yeah. think is happening right now? What's happening right now is that uh, this past couple of weeks, uh, the SPX has uh, trended up into some really key time and price zones to complete at least a weekly high and potentially a multi-month high uh, and maybe even more significant. So I first look at weekly trends because if you can get on the right side of a weekly trend, there's lots of trading opportunity. And then I identify, well, what could, what could the market do to signal a higher time frame trend to reversal? So what we're looking at here is there are key time factors over the last couple of weeks to complete a weekly high. And importantly, there are two really, really important price factors that gave us a zone about 44, 31 to 44, 73 or 4. And that's right where the high was made last week. Uh, and so what I call it's kind of like Dan said, when time and price come together, change is inevitable. So as of last week, it was a, a big up week, which a lot of people thought was real bullish. And it, who knows, it may end up being. But it came right into time and price targets that we identified in advance. And then our momentum cycle had made a fair reversal actually a couple weeks before that. So we're on alert for probable weekly high. So the key, the number everybody wants to be aware of is <laughs> a weekly close below 41.69. If that should occur, that's called a closing overlap. And it will indicate that the SPX has completed a corrective high and that eventually the probabilities will be strong 
that a bear trend would continue to below, at least below the March low and probably below the October low. Not real fast. I'm not talking about a panic bear market. But at, at some point in the month or maybe even a year or so ahead, we would have a significant low below the October low. That's a really important level to be alert okay. to. Okay, Bob, I have a question. On the bottom of the chart, you've got a red marking there where your oscillator is extremely, it looks like, uh, overbought. Can you tell me what, what that is, those two red things there where the oscillators mm -hmm. are at the very bottom of the chart on the far right? <laughs> right, in the indicator window. So. This is yeah. proprietary to the software I developed called Dynamic Trader, and it's called a dual look back uh, momentum cycles. So when you have the, the red in the overbought zone, that means a longer look back period is either overbought or bearish. And so the hook uh, that usually completes the cycle is when the shorter look back, and I use all fib numbers. You know, mm -hmm. so when the when the eight look back makes a fair reversal from the overbought zone when the thirteen is overbought, that's a dual look back momentum reversal, and it just has a really high probability uh, on any time frame of that reversal being a good reversal. You still got to use trading strategies. You make a momentum reversal, then you identify specific price reversal, but uh, mm -hmm. you, you definitely. At least most times you don't want to be long if you've got the, the double, a dual look back momentum is buried. Okay, now a question about the dynamic trader. If the folks are interested in looking at this program, which I can attest to its validity because I watched it from the very beginning uh, 30 years ago. So uh, mm -hmm. how the best way for them to reach you, Bob? Just visit the website at dynamictraders.com. Okay, and can I ask, what is the cost of the dynamic trader? I remember last time I talked to you about this, which was probably 30 years ago, uh, I don't even remember what it was at that time, but how much do you charge for the dynamic trader? Yeah, it's just $997. So it's under $997? Oh, that's under 1000 bucks. That's not bad at all. Right. Oh, we're yeah. going to have to pay a few bills here uh, very shortly. Okay. But if, well, we, no, we got a whole minute left, so let's get up and see another uh, another one of the charts and uh, we'll get up to look at oh this is oh this is your standings we certainly want to talk about this and then we'll give you some time here at the very end of the show when we get back up here you, you, tell the folks about your standings here for this uh, this is real money too folks this is not uh, this is not paper money this is real money oh Correct. we got a question yeah, the Robin's come trading back. company go ahead mm -hmm. no you, uh, you know, we're going to have to take the break, unfortunately, because the, yep. the old clock on the wall is saying we got to play. And we've got 47 seconds of dead time. So use that 40 seconds and tell us what this is, Bob. It's a real-time, real-money contest. It's one of about eight or nine of them that I've had double and triple-digit returns over the last several years. So it's just it's a real-money, real-time. I do these so I can show people that the stuff I teach. And talk okay, about. stay stay with us. We're going to get back with that, and also we got a, two questions coming up uh, from okay, our listeners. We'll, we'll be right back. Bob Miner, folks, Dynamic Trader. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, 
Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Bob Miner of Dynamic Trader. Bob, we've got a question for one of our listeners down in Texas, and he's asking you about the situation for natural gas and also for crude oil. Do you follow those markets um, closely? I follow crude. I don't follow natural gas at all. Crude's interesting because I think it made what we call an 11-week cycle bottom last week. So I think okay. we're just in the initial stages of a multi-week rally. Okay. Okay. One of the trading strategies that we use, that I use, is I, I look a lot at momentum cycles. More than likely today or tomorrow, it's going to make what we call a, a daily top. Then I'll have three to four day or so correction. And that's going to be an ideal setup um, if it's made in that way on the long mm -hmm. side for crude for probably several weeks. Okay, that, that's that's really good. I, I really like that. Well, those are the only two questions we have, and I want to thank you for being on our show today. We'll have you on again soon sometime, maybe in August, and we'll see how maybe around the 15th of August to see what the gold is doing. Fantastic. All hey, up. thank you. for thank you. You're in Greenville, uh, South Carolina now? No, Greensboro, North Carolina. North Carolina, okay. And you, you like it down there in the old triangle, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's where John Hill was from that area, and I used to go there a lot <laughs> back I'll in the days. But, pardon me. I, I said I'll be done. That's the name. Of the yeah, he he passed away about seven months ago at the age of ninety six. So he wow. he lived a really full life. But uh, we yeah. miss you out here, Bubba. So take it easy, and hopefully we'll get together someday. Right on. You take care. You bet. Bob Miner, folks, stand-up guy from Dynamic Trader. We'll be back with you in just a second. I want to get another chart up here that someone's asked me to bring up, and that is about the crude oil. So give me one second, and I will get the chart uh, pulled up, and I probably will need more than one second, but that's neither here nor there. So hold on just a second here, and we'll get the crude oil chart up with a little bit of luck. And it's going to take – oh, there we go. Here's what Bob is talking about, I believe. Let me get this chart up. And we were looking at for a potential sale here uh, in the crude oil today. It didn't quite reach our level. It missed us by about uh, 30 pips. What we were doing is, folks, we were uh, getting to sell it right up above this level right here. And we didn't quite get there. We stopped right at that 61% uh, retracement in here. And that will tell us, you know, we're probably going to be uh, – all we did was we did some time counts, you know, the numbers of days up in this move, the numbers of days up in this move. And that was telling us that we were coming into strong resistance up here in this 7250 level. I think we got to 7230 or something like that. But we still could get there tomorrow. But there's a really nice setup. And you can notice here 
uh, in the crude oil. We have lower lower tops in here for quite a bit. And what Bob was referring to is uh, this lower low that we made here was just slightly lower low than this one, which could be uh, what he mentioned was, I believe, an 11-week bottom. And if it is, and you can see how it took off out of here, uh, that's a good sign that it's something big is happening. So watch for a little three- or four-day correction to be a buyer uh, in the crude oil because that's probably – uh, you know the the way it's going to go. Of course, you could do either side as long as you can control your risk. It's not about how much money you make; it's about how much money you don't lose. By the way, next week we're going to have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics on the line because he's a specialist in these things with energy, and boy, he has sure done a fabulous job. So those are just a couple of the ones that we're really uh, paying very very close attention to here. Now I wanted to take just a second here. And look at one of the others, which is the um, the natural gas, excuse me, gasoline, almost the same. Uh, we've got to move that over just a little bit here. Then we're okay. See, the gasoline is even, even clearer because if you look at this from a Fibonacci standpoint, and you'll be able to see here that the high that we made here uh, on Sunday. Now, we made a slightly higher high here above the 382. We actually almost matched it perfectly, went a tiny bit above it. So this was basically nothing more than a four-day rally, and that's why we're getting some weakness in here. Now, <clears throat> so this one is not nearly as strong <coughs> excuse me, as the uh, crude oil, but it's still pretty strong. You can see here we have a much higher bottom here on this one right here. See, the crude oil made a double bottom here, whereas the gasoline came in at a much higher level. So it is, in fact, is actually stronger, which it should be because this is a seasonal where you have a lot of people driving their cars. Raise your hand, Larry. I drive my car a lot during the summer. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here with that. Now, heating oil is just the opposite. Heating oil is basically showing the fact that you have a market that is in a non-seasonal pattern, and you'll be able to see how weak this is just by looking at this, and you'll be able to bring it up, and we'll bring up and show you where we are. And there it is right there. Look at look at the lower look how how weak this is compared to the gasoline and the crude oil folks. I mean this is uh this is really not a very big rally at all. We haven't even made a 382 retracement of this high way back in here and yet we're up in this area with both crude oil and with the gasoline. So when they crack the crude it goes into heating oil and the gasoline. So heating oil during the winter should not we uh, was in short supply, but in the summer, nobody needs heating oil. So those are just a few factors of supply demand coming to you from here at uh, uh, Tiger Financial News Network. Hold on, folks. I had a question about the Apple chart. Let me get this back up here so we can see it. All I did with this Apple chart, folks, was to draw a simple parallel channel, and I cloned it. In other words, I watched it all the way up. If you want to see all those 382 retracements, you can see how the, the channel went right up to it. I just cloned this one right here, the bottom one, just connected those bottoms, and I cloned it and put it on top, and that brought us up here to 195, and now we've gapped a little bit lower. Now, whether that's going to mean a whole lot or not, you know, we don't know, but all I can tell you is that it's getting pretty close, and so we got to be, you know, really, really careful of what we're looking at here on some of these things because uh, these uh, these have been extended by quite a bit and they can take they can keep extending folks we don't know how far they're going to go if we get above 196 this thing can go to 220 look at meta folks I mean nobody wanted this thing at 74 and look at it now it's $300 a share or more than $300 a share and that's not just due to AI or threads that means somebody wants to own this stock and to see it do that much over a period of time, boy, it's a, it's a really, really big move, and that's the main thing. Folks, big things are going to be happening. We're going to have tremendous swings in some of these markets, and some of these we're going to get. Some of them we're not going to get, but, boy, we're certainly watching them closely to try to find out the ones that uh, give us the best possible uh, patterns for trading without using a whole lot of money. Uh, in other words, keep our stops, as our stops and losses as small as possible. That's the whole thing, because if you can do that, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to uh, put yourself in a situation where you're going to be able to be profitable over an extended period of time, and that's what we want to do. Folks, we've had a heck of a run here this year, 
And also last year, well, we've had we've been pretty lucky here. Well, luck is where preparation uh, meets opportunity or inspiration meets perspiration, whatever you want to say. Uh, you know, we do uh, do a lot of hard work. And when I send you these things out at three and four in the morning, that's when I usually start my day. It gives us an idea of what happens in the overnight markets. And that tells us what usually is going to give us an indication of what's going to happen during the day. And as you can see here today, we got hit really badly with the uh, stocks. And, uh, you know, that was for, for loaning a much, much lower market. We're going to take a break, folks. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted a chart of the Treasury bonds, and if you want to see something that's really bearish, folks, uh, yeah, take a look at this one. This is really, really negative. I mean, we have this bounce in here. We can't even make an ABCD to the upside. And now we're way down in this area right here, folks. What's going to happen if we take out these lows down here at 118, folks? Is that going to be another ABCD to the downside? Hmm, something to think about because the Fed keeps saying, oh, it looks like there's going to be at least one more uh, 
a run to the downsides or, or a in, increase in interest rates, which means lower in the Treasury bonds. Folks, when I first started trading with bonds, that was back in 1977 when they first came out. Uh, they were trading for 56. They, they paid a 7% uh, a dividend, and of course, the interest rates were 14%, and so that's why they were there. And uh, they went from there all the way up to 172 when we were going to have negative interest rates. And look at these swings that we're having, folks. We've definitely made a major high. Uh, in bonds, i.e., a low in interest rates about a year and a half ago, even this year when we were still talking about negative interest rates and the market was still, you know, trying to feed that to the folks, uh, which is a pretty difficult thing to swallow when you tell someone that, you know, we're going to um, not. We're going to hold your money, but we're not going to give you any interest on it, and we're not going to give you any guarantee that you're ever going to get it back. But it's a good deal for you because it's going to help everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, mister. I'll be getting some of that just as soon as I possibly can. So, anyway, those are some of the things we're looking at. Very important today that gold stays above the 1908 level, folks. That's a 78% retracement of that $40 move. It's not acting good. And we might be looking at that 1846 level after all. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.